Hello, VCV Rack addicts. Uh, I'm sure by now you've you've noticed that there is a new switch added in our oscillators, uh, vanilla oscillators in VCV Rack Two. And um, you know, I, at first when I when I when I saw that, I was like, "Yeah, that's great, linear FM, long overdue." And I thought it's just the same thing as this switch over here, right? Linear FM, linear FM. And then I look closely. And it turns out these two are actually different. So this one is linear. This one is linear through zero. And guess what? When I look closely, this one says linear FM, even though on the website says it's through zero uh, linear FM. And when I tested it, it turns out it's not FM at all. It's actually a phase modulation. So uh, I thought I'm going to do a quick dive into these different flavors of FM. Between these three oscillators, we have actually four flavors of FM. So I think it would be nice to, to see what's the difference. Um, and uh, so if you, if you don't know anything about um, that or, or if it's still confusing, stick around and I'll, I'll show you a um, you know, little experiment you can do to kind of start hearing those differences and, uh, and test it yourself. And it's something that can work, you know, on other oscillators if you're not sure which one is which. So uh, first thing first, um, you probably try that by now, um, FM, and you'll notice that traditional exponential FM, when you increase amount of modulation, will raise your pitch. Linear FM, on the other hand, it's really pretty kind of digital. It stays on, on point and just changes timbre, right? So what is really going on here? Why one is going up and another one is um, behaving? And uh, so here's one very simple experiment you can perform. Shape Master is actually good for that. Uh, you can use any module. The idea is that we want to feed this oscillator very specific voltages. So I want a voltage range between minus one and one and simple sequence. Minus one, zero, plus one, zero. And then I'm going to set this oscillator to exactly 523. It should be with a little bit of change, but five, two, three is good enough. And you'll see later why. Um, it's, you know, it's C5. And now we can listen we can compare these two modes in kind of a slow motion. So let's try that. I'm going to open this modulation mount to full. So here we go. This is traditional exponential. Because we have one volt here, we hear, as expected, octaves, right? From this oscillator. So in this mode, if this is fully open and we're in exponential mode, this input is exactly the same as volt per octave. However, if we switch to linear, something interesting is happening. Uh, this one is octave and this one is perfect fifth. So in this mode, you notice that it's kind of, you know, th this, uh, this input is, is asymmetrical. Exponential surprisingly seems like it's, it's symmetrical. So you might think if we speed it up now, let's, uh, let's try. 523. You might expect that that exponential, because it's symmetrical, should stay on, on pitch. And this is not what happens. It goes up. While linear, because remember, this is a smaller interval than this, you might expect that everything will go down. And instead, it stays um, in the middle. Um, and the reason it might be confusing is because this is how we hear frequencies, but this is not what happens in real life. So let's check the actual frequencies again in slow motion. And let's slow it down a bit. So in exponential, and actually there's one little advice I can give you here, which is um, to see the math, uh, you know, to, to avoid uh, you know, more uh, messy numbers, I set this frequency to 400. And then it becomes clear that exponential 
is not as symmetrical as we hear it, right? Because in frequency domains, octave is double frequency, right? So every every time you have you hear something that's octave above, it means that the frequency is double that. And every, every time you hear something octave below, it means you the, the frequency is halved. So we have 200, 400, and 800, right? 200, 400, 800. So you clearly see that in exponential mode, it's uh, that whole sequence is asymmetrical in terms of intervals. So no wonder why, if we speed it up, right, everything goes up because because the average frequency is 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 kind of dragging it up. Obviously, it's not very uh, scientific explanation and. Uh, in order to understand FM, we would have to look into underlying math, but I really wanted this tutorial to be helpful to musicians just like myself. So I'm kind of, you know, uh, explaining it in a very intuitive, hopefully intuitive way. So, um, so that's why it's going up. But notice that if we have a look at um, exponential, so it's 461 more or less, right? And the frequency below is basically 400 minus 261. So even though we might hear it differently, at different ranges, the frequency always, the, the those intervals in terms of frequency will always be 261 hertz. Even if you go very high up. Right, so we hear it as, as now like smaller intervals, like uh, major second, but frequency difference is always 261 here, wherever you go. So that's why when you speed it up, it stays on the pitch because it's symmetric, right? So um, that will be my kind of uh, dumbing down of uh, linear and versus exponential um, FM. And, um, and this is how I kind of visualize uh, all that, that th th this process and the difference. Um, once again, I, I strongly encourage you that you set it up yourself and test it and, and experiment with those different modes with different um, um, different speeds. Because when you when you listen to it in slow mode, it kind of, at least to me, it started making sense. So once again, um, at first set this to 523 and feed it um, sequence of minus one zero one um, voltage um, and uh, and test it. All right, guys. So this is a linear versus exponential, exponential versus linear. In the next video, I'll talk about through zero versus um, phase modulation. All right. See you around.